This past summer, Universal's Despicable Me featured a supervillain who becomes a good guy. Now DreamWorks Animation has their take on the superhero supervillain story. Megamind begins with a backstory. We see how life started out for Megamind and how and why he became a supervillain. Will Ferrell, the voice of Megamind, narrates the opening segment. And we learn about Megamind's rivalry with Metro Man, Brad Pitt, the superhero of the city. Metro Man is loved by everyone, and they all hate Megamind, but he's okay with that because he enjoys being evil. But events take place that end the rivalry, and Megamind has to figure out how to be happy without battling Metro Man all the time. One way might be by starting a relationship with TV news reporter Roxanne, voiced by Tina Fey. But how could she ever like him? I have to point out once again that the trailer for Megamind gives much too much away and really spoils the enjoyment of the story. When are studios going to realize the damage they're doing to their customers, the movie going public, by including too many details in their trailers? It's a problem that needs to be addressed. As for the film, it's much more of a light romantic comedy than an action comedy, and that's surprising. And while adults may enjoy it more because of that, for the target audience kids, it's disappointing. I expected a lot more laughs than the script provides, and a lot more action. The tone of the film is very low-key. And after the opening scene, when the two arch enemies fall to Earth, the story remains locked in Metro City, holding back the potential for more excitement. As with other recent films, Megamind suffers from not having characters that the audience can like and root for. Megamind himself is fun, but he's evil, then good, then evil, then good. Too much back and forth to stay attached to. The real good guy, Metro Man, turns out to be not to be a main character at all. And the replacement hero is really a jerk. On the plus side, the voice work led by Farrell is fantastic. And as always with the case with DreamWorks, the animation is wonderful. The 3D is sharp and effective, but not overdone. And this film may have the best soundtrack of any movie this year. There will be a lot of comparisons made to The Incredibles. Many of the Megamind characters even look like characters from that previous film. But while The Incredibles grabs you from the first scene and is jam-packed with great action and a thoughtful story, Megamind focuses too much on what the characters are thinking and not enough on what they should be doing. And the romantic storyline just slows things down. Megamind is rated PG for cartoon action and mild language. It's appropriate for kids seven and up, but I'm just not sure if they'll enjoy it. It's not a bad movie by any means, it's just not as good as it should be. On the official Kid Crick report card, Megamind gets a C+. It's definitely third among the 2010 DreamWorks films, behind both How to Train Your Dragon and Shrek Forever After. The studio will release two films next year, Kung Fu Panda 2 in May and the Shrek spin-off Puss in Boots in November. I'm Lights Camera Jackson, your Kid Critic.